Are you going? Yep. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. 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 Yeah. I'm for some big yeah. announcement yeah. to come across the screen. <laughs> You're yeah. live, but it didn't happen. So, but we're live. Hi. Yay. You're here. Welcome. All right, guys. Hi there. And welcome yeah. to episode one of WDW Event Chats Live. Woo! We did it. <laughs> we <laughs> haven't done it yet. <laughs> we are so excited to be here. And we're your host. Uh, for this evening and hopefully for every Wednesday night at 8.45 p.m. Eastern Time. So mark your calendars, come back and see us. Um, and thanks for joining us tonight. We're so excited Yay. to be here. All right. So we've all got our ears on. Yes. Are we ready? We're ready to talk Disney yes. girls? All right. Yeah. Talk Disney to me. All right. So tonight the topic is the upcoming things that are going on at the Disney World Resort. And first, though, we're going to start with some introductions. Um, I'm going to throw it over to Nicole since she kind of started this whole thing and let her say hi. So introduce yourself, Nicole. Hey, guys. So my name is Nicole Mucci, and I am a local to the Orlando area. I am fortunate enough to get to do these media events every month and get to, uh, you know, see what Disney is working on and stuff like that. So that's been really, really awesome. I have two small kids who are preschool and kindergarten age so we, we have a lot of fun and so yeah i mean we love disney we love all things disney disney movies all kinds of stuff so and where do you blog at nicole oh um so i'm from the creative stay at home mom and it's the creative sam.com and i have a whole disney section of just stuff that we've done at disney recipes and all kinds of stuff so if you guys want to check it out just head over there all right, and Kimberly. Hi, I'm Kimberly, and I blog at SavvyMamaLifestyle.com. We are based in Atlanta, and we are DVC members, been Disney fans as long as I can remember, since long before kids. But we have a toddler and a preschooler, and we try to get down as much as possible. And we, I love to run Disney, and I rope other people into it. <laughs> You're one of those. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll go next. I am Andrea Updike. Yep. <laughs> I blog at just as a four letter word.com and I was a Disney Parks Moms panelist in 2015 and 16. I grew up in Florida, um, but I live in North Carolina now with my husband and two sons. And we typically stick to the East Coast, but we're trying to branch west a little bit more. And uh, we have discovered Disney Cruise Line in the last few years, and we're totally hooked on that. So I'm excited to chat about my favorite topic every week. All right, and not with us tonight is Jill Robbins. Um, she's with Ripped Jeans and Bifocals, and she'll be on next week, maybe the week after. I'm not sure when she's coming on, but she's got all kinds of good stuff to tell you about her life with Disney as well. And uh, I guess that's me. So I'm Patty Holiday, and I blog over at NoGuiltLife.com. You know, I like to say that my family kind of started with Disney because the first thing I noticed when I walked into my then guy that I was possibly considering dating's house at the time was that he had some um, VHS tapes. Yes, we're that old. VHS wow. tapes, and it was Beauty and the Beast and oh, Alice in Wonderland wow. and wow. Cinderella. And I just went, oh. <laughs> and he was raised right. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, all just, it all just fell together from there. So that'll do it. Me a hard time that I'm the Disney addict, but I'm like, dude, you started this. Like, this was all you first. So, anyway. Welcome. We're so happy to be here. And, you know, a little bit more information. I want Nicole to tell you guys why we're here, what we're doing, what our plan for this 30 minute chat every week is all about. So, Nicole, do you mind giving a little background as far as how yeah. WDW chat started? Yeah. So um, I started uh, the DWW event chats on Twitter. Um, you know, I used to do them every month. We used to talk about like new stuff coming up with Disney and stuff like that and it started out small and then it started getting bigger you know and then we had like massive amount of people just joining in and you know disney fans just talking about you know what they love you know about disney and the festivals and everything and um then i was like you know i really would like to just do a talk show and talk about this stuff with like other disney loving fans 
you know, and get it, make it more personal, you know, get it more involved and stuff. And so I was like, man, he would be great, you know, to do this. And I came out with you brilliantly. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we're, we're happy to be here. At least I can speak for myself. Right. Um, yes. I love it. When you came with this idea and you were like, I'm so inspired to do this. Let's mm -hmm. let's make this a, a show. And I was like, Disney, mm -hmm. I'm all in. Let's let's yeah. 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 talk about Disney all summer. day. <laughs> right. right, right. So, and we all kind of have different, I don't know, specialties or experiences. I'm mm -hmm. like Kimberly. I'm totally into the Run Disney scene, so I can definitely talk about that. I go coast to coast. I love me some Disneyland. So Andrea, please get out there. We're gonna have some time. I've about. been, I've been, but I need okay. to go more. Yeah, you Kids do. Have not been yet. It's amazing. Oh. Yes, I know. Get them out there because it's amazing. I know. I know. Um, Kimberly, I know, is DVC. Mm -hmm. um, Nicole obviously is local, so she's got like all the insider knowledge. So I think we've got a good group here, and we're gonna have a lot yeah. of fun with this. So yeah, and um, like people, and we're talking about like not just Walt Disney World. We're talking about the cruises. We're talking yeah. about Adventures by Disney. We're talking about Disneyland, Disney everything. Food. All yes. things Disney. So, Disney you know, food. The movies, the parks, Disney. the food. Yes. I mean, just everything Disney. We're, we're planning we're crafts. Exactly. Totally. We're going to talk about all of it. Not tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. That's why you got to keep coming back. Right. <laughs> we would be here like for hours. <laughs> and I don't doubt. Yeah. I don't doubt that we could. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Let, well, you know, I won't. We're not going to lie about that. But we're going to have to come back, and we're going to we're going to break it up into smaller chunks so we have more to talk about. Easily digestible Disney chunks, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. So let's let's dive in. Are we ready? We guys want to talk about this. Yeah. All right. We're ready. Twenty nineteen is going to be huge at Walt Disney World. There's a yeah. lot going on, but first we're going to talk about the new initiative that they just kind of kicked off in January. I think it was January eighteenth. Do I have my date right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And it's hashtag now more than ever. So follow that on all your socials. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what is what's going on? Who wants to, who wants to talk about this first? Andrea. Well, Andrea, yeah, yeah, Andrea, no. Okay, well, there, there are going to be a lot of things coming, and they're coming to all of the parks. Something different is coming to every single park. Um, I think maybe we could start with Magic Kingdom, since that's kind of where it all began, right? There and yeah. <laughs> yeah, so at Magic Kingdom, we started hearing a little bit more and more at the beginning of, well, the middle of Feb, uh, January, January. Yeah. and then he's, we're eyes February. We're not to February yet. I'm trying to be. I'm done with January. <laughs> it's been a long month. It's been the longest, longest month. January is always the longest. But we're super excited about Mickey and Minnie's surprise celebration, which is bringing all kinds of new fun to Magic Kingdom. And uh, one of the things I'm most excited about is where you meet Mickey and Minnie together, which I think is really special. Normally at Magic Kingdom, you meet Mickey at Town Hall, you meet mm -hmm. Minnie uh, back in uh, Storybook Circus, and now they're together for almost the whole year, really, till the end of September. So um, they've got special party mm -hmm. outfits, and you can it's meet them together and get that awesome photo mm -hmm. op. Yeah, yeah. With both of them, um, yeah, which so is usually reserved for like parties and, and private events. And that's sort real of quick. I'm going to talk about these party outfits. I'm going to give you guys a confession. <laughs> I didn't love them when they first like announced and they put the pictures out and I was just like, uh, like, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I know, I know the purpose. It was, it kind of looks like a cupcake. I don't know. It looks yeah. friendly and like celebration or whatever. Yeah. I was just not in love with this, with this outfit. Right. But that all changed as Disney does for me. It has yeah. a way of reaching out and sucking me in. And this happened through one of my dear friends, Julia, Aww. who, yeah, Julia was running um, the 5K, the marathon, the uh -huh. weekend 5K um, as the birthday celebration Minnie Mouse. And she looked adorable. I love that. <laughs> it was the cutest costume I've ever seen. And I ran oh. most of the race with her, which like, that sold me on it because her pure joy and how she lit up anytime anybody commented on this adorable outfit and how, you know, she made, she, she brought Mickey out with, you know, they, it was really cute. She just had, she had so much fun with it, but that, 
sucked me in and made me go, all right, I'm on board. I love the costume. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. We're going to need to see a picture of this because I will. Um, I'll find, I'll find, I think I even better. I think I have a little video of her skipping. And oh, oh we can have in the comments. <laughs> it's adorable. Yeah, She's adorable. But anyway, so yes, the, so Minnie and Mickey are meeting and that rarely happens. And speaking also of rarely happens, mm -hmm. there's a bunch of rare characters. And oh, yes, I know not everybody's a character person, but I am. I love characters. I will mm -hmm. stand in line for people who we don't usually get to see. And I know they've been rotating out um, at the flagpole, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So I lost my mind when I saw that some rare characters were going to be meeting at the flagpole. And the cool thing about it is it's random. So you don't really know who's going to be there. So anytime you're on Main Street USA and you're walking by the flagpole, just come take a little peek and see who's over there. Because <laughs> they're changing them every day. But some really cool ones have been spotted so far. Um, Remy and Emil have been spotted meeting with guests from Ratatouille. Um, Phineas and Ferb, which I love that they brought them back out. Yeah. yeah. Yep, they've been kind of absent from Disney's Hollywood Studios for a while, and they yeah. have been times. Um, but Judy Hops was there. What? Oh yeah, Nick and Judy. I think they came, and they're usually only out at a party or in the in the parade. So, um, all right, we're going. To I'm Disney. the most excited about y'all. My yeah. favorite Disney movie is the Robin Hood cartoon. Yeah, yes. stuff, right. I watched. I, I don't even know how many times I watched it in my life. And then I got my kids into it and we watched it and they're always like, oh, the one with the rooster? Cause the, he has the little ukulele. <laughs> so they have uh, opportunities to meet Prince John and Friar Tuck. And oh, then also on some days, Robin Hood and Little John are out. So you have to check the flagpole. For me, that's one I usually pass by cause it's typically, you know, right. one of the classic characters or one that I have a few pictures with um, thankfully, but if I were there right now, I would be like stalking that flagpole. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> right. Those are, a lot of those characters, Kim, like you've seen them out on the, the race yes. before, haven't you? Like we don't even have to run to meet things. <laughs> right. Because that's one of the attractions of Run Disney is the rare characters. Yeah, that's and awesome. I love that they're bringing it out. And I, I think so many people are focused on the castle that you naturally pass by the flagpole. Mm-hmm. That's so that's true. Cool. And if you're there early in the morning, it's, it's not going to take you any time to hop in that line and yeah. just let the crowds pass you by. <laughs> That's a great tip. Yeah. All right. So over at Hollywood Studios, there's a lot going on at Hollywood Studios this year. Obviously, if you okay. haven't seen it yet, Toy Story Land is out. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. Slinky Dog is such a fun, cool ride. Grab this fast oh, okay. people because it's a lot of fun, right? Yes. Um, but what I'm kind of dorking out about is I love The Incredibles. And Yay! they are from the yeah. meet and greets over at um, the Pixar Play Place. And it's now called the Incredible Celebration, I think. Does that think sound so. right? Right. And they're doing like Mr. Incredible and Frozone are doing a dance party. And mm -hmm. guys, I, you may, I used to, another concession, man, I'm going to get fired. Um, I used to skip Hollywood Studios because I didn't think there was enough like holding my interest. Oh yeah, they got to see Disney did it again. They said, "What does Patty need? <laughs> Patty needs the Incredibles. <laughs> That's We're gonna get her here. We're gonna win her over, and she's gonna show up in her party yeah. dress." Yes. <laughs> That's, it. That's exactly what happened. This is all about Patty. No, no. I am so glad it is because um, I really just had been skipping Hollywood Studios for a long, long, long time, and now there's so much that. cool stuff going I on. Love it. And cool stuff for kids, um, like lightning. Mm -hmm. Anybody have Cars fans? You guys have boys. Yes. You guys all have boys. Yes. Like, who's yep. the Cars yep. fan? Boy yeah. mom. We are yeah. super excited to your, see that. Your boys. Your boys do Cars. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're all boy moms. Oh my god. Yeah, we're like super excited to see that. I'm so yeah. excited. And so there's a new. So there's a new attraction. It hasn't opened up yet. Called Lightning McQueen Racing Academy. I think right. I got that right. Um, mm -hmm. and yep. A little bit more information is starting to trickle out about this attraction and i think it's gonna be really cool and um it's actually kind of in an odd location it's back in the corner behind rock and roller coaster um yeah. which sort of seems out of the way but if you've ever been back there for club disney or club villain um it's actually a really cool area. There's a courtyard out front, tons of space. It's a huge indoor space. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it. Because I think we've all been missing lightning um, around the parks mm -hmm. lately. 
Hey guys, whoever's joining in, how's it going? It feels like they're doing um, the Lightning McQueen experience is going to be kind of like a turtle talk with Crush, like where he's going to talk back to people. Is that the what you guys are picking up on the? They haven't given us a lot of information out just yet. No, I'm kind of hoping it was going to be like one of those things where like you you know, like you get in and it's kind of like a motion type of oh. right, kind of like you know Star Tours. Like I was hoping for something kind of like that. You know, I think that would be really cool. That would be cool. That would be yeah. really cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see. I mean, there's going to be. Um, some of the things that they've said are they're going to be like wraparound screens inside, which I know they oh, they do have nice. screens already up there. So I'm mm -hmm. sure they're going to make use of that, which is probably where the turtle talk thing comes into play. Mm -hmm. I think you are like an aspiring racer um, as the guest. Oh. That's sort of your role. Um, yeah, I haven't. I mean, it sounds really cool. I think it's nice to have an interactive experience because yeah. in the past mm -hmm. it's it's been cool to be able to have photo ops, you know, but one thing that we haven't had at Walt Disney World that they have had at um, Disneyland or Disney California Adventure is sort of the moving vehicles. And I don't know yeah. if they have full size moving vehicles, but I like the interactive aspect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing like seeing them drive down. I, know. Six guys. I and love that. It's guys, don't tell me that I still haven't done that. that oh, like Cars Land is so amazing. Yeah, that's what right. I you're next, Nicole. I'm going to have to talk to you. Wait, 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 wait. Before we move on, Patty. Yes. Who are you excited to meet, darling? <laughs> darling. <laughs> you love you know, Donna. You know, I love me some Edna. She is my spirit yeah. animal. <laughs> oh, and the yum yum cookies. Yes. So, so, yeah. I haven't We're had one yet. But yeah, snacks. Okay, yeah. snacks. Tell me about this. So that whole side of Hollywood Studios is bringing the snack game. If you have been to Woody's Lunchbox, yes. you know um, about the Pop-Tarts. I think they have Tots back there. Yeah. Um, and That's now true. in Municiburg, which is the new Incredibles area, they yeah. are selling the Num Num cookies, which have taken mm. California Adventure by storm. It is a warm chocolate chip cookie that is served warm. And it's like, it looks really thick. I have not had it yet. So if any of y'all watching have had this, you have to Leave tell me a comment or picture. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I want see to see a picture. Of it. <laughs> but it's the num num cookie. And I see why Jack Jack wanted them so bad because they look amazing. It means that we're finally getting something on the East Coast that Disneyland gets, right? I mean, right. I love it when that happens. <laughs> I guess no. Did you see my eyes roll? Because I just gave you an eye roll. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, but I'm Disneyland. excited for the food. Becca yeah. said she's had them and they're so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so jealous. Oh, Jessica says that they're messy and delicious. Oh, two of my favorite things. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're definitely time. down with that. Definitely down with that. All right. So that's Hollywood Studios. Let's talk about Epcot. We have the 2019 Epcot International Festival of the Arts happening mm -hmm. right now. Yes. And I love the Epcot festivals. I do. Oh, oh man. Me too. And I and love that this has kind of become, I don't want to say a totally consistent thing, but, you know, every couple of months there's a new one coming out. So, um, this is the one that I haven't done yet, but my next trip, I will show up like right at the tail end of it. So I'm, yes. so, I finally get to go and, and have some of this experience, but everything that I have seen, um, has been just really, really cool. I mean, they have like Disney on Broadway concert series going on. Um, obviously all the food. Um, I've seen some amazing artwork that you can purchase. Yeah. Meeting with artists. And, and, and you can be artists. a part of you can yep. be in the art. You can yeah. get the little paint and, yep. and paint your squares and create a mural. They do a new one, I think, every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, they, they've got a lot going on over there, too, which is, is really cool. Um, also in Epcot, coming back this summer, which the Marvel dork in me is so excited about this because I missed it last year. Don't ask me what mm -hmm. I was doing. I don't know. But I was in Epcot like three times and never went and saw the Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix live show. But guys, it's coming back. It's coming back. And I am so super excited because as a boy mom, I and Marvel, like our family is 
absolutely mm-hmm. Marvel obsessed. Mm-hmm. I think we and, all are, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably all of us are. Yeah, we're all Mar- Team Marvel here. <laughs> yep. And being the Walt Disney World people that we are, we visited last summer in July, and we just don't have as much Marvel stuff. But when I found out about that show, I was like, we are going to this show. It was on the plan, and y'all know I'm a planner. Yes. I plan mm-hmm. everything, and I was like, all right, we are doing this. And so we got in the first or second row, and you know, it was a show right and some of the stuff had been coming out about it and I was a little nervous like what's this really going to be like you know Star Lord doesn't really sing nor <laughs> definitely doesn't sing um we were blown away the music was fantastic awesome. it was funny the scripting was hilarious um the the dancing was great the there weren't really any background. I mean, there were background characters, mm-hmm. but they were, everyone had their own special part. They were all part of the show. They were having a blast. We had a blast. It was recognizable mm-hmm. music for the grown ups and fun for the kids. I'm telling you, do not skip this show. It is right. so, so fun. It That's is so a fun. great segue to what's coming to Epcot too. So. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's um, June 14th through August 18th. So yes. it's a small window, which is kind of a bummer, but go see the guardian if you're there in summer it, it, and it's a great break there's tons of stuff to do it's in the um american uh, pavilion and yeah. that uh was it i'm blanking on it the garden theater i think it, maybe it's called american garden theater um was it in, so inside or outside? Snack options grab a funnel cake have a seat i think it was yeah oh it's and a, then it's got one thing. it's got a it's a covered it's a covered okay. pavilion kind of thing so you can sit in the yeah. shade but it's outside Nice. Yeah, but in their seating, but and it's not like it's not like the other, or at least it wasn't when we were there, like the candlelight procession or something where you have to get there super early and stand right. in line. I mean, they do it so many times throughout the day that you can pretty much just show up a few minutes in early and get a really good seat. And if you're a couple minutes late, you probably still get a decent seat. Nice. Um, Shannon, that Marvel show is coming back um, June 14th through August 18th. Yeah. And we forgot to mention. But to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Lion King at Animal Kingdom, there is the Hakuna Matata time dance party going on. So. Guys, there's just so much going on. There is so much going on. But I yeah, that yeah. Like, I'm already singing the song in my head. I will not sing it out loud here because <laughs> every single person will just like close it and take off. I love it. That sounds like a great one for kids. The yes. little one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've yeah. had Discovery Island, so I'm I'm really excited. I want to take my kids to go and see it because they really love Timon and Pumbaa. So that's awesome. I think it's gonna be really good, and they've got a really good photo op already. I've I've seen uh, some people have it's like a big Lion King backdrop, mm-hmm. really fun photo wall, and well, those are popping up everywhere. You know the movie so far, right? You know the Lion King is coming yeah. out this summer, yes. right? yeah. and so. Yes. One thing you can always count on with Disney, they're smart and they're doing this synergy thing and they're going to tie it all together mm-hmm. and they're going to hook us all in so that we're throwing our money and going to the movie and then going to the parks and yep. just immersing ourselves in all things Lion King, which I have no problem with. I have no problem with. I'm all about. Take the money right, <laughs> right. now. I'll just and I think you. it's cool that they're doing like the three dimensional photo opportunities. Yes. So they're I recreating the animated stuff, you know? I haven't seen that yet. So yeah. that's something you can check out at Festival of the Arts, Patty, because okay. they have like these living paintings and it's it's sort of the painting is in the background and then there's a frame and you sort of stand in the frame. So it looks like you're yeah. next to a that's classical, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, real painting. And you oh, get to that's be a part so of it. Cool. They're really cute. Really cute. That festival always pops up after marathon weekend. So that's why Patty right. and I haven't done it. <laughs> wow. I, know, I don't know that any of us have done it yet. So you'll be the first one, Patty. You'll have to report back. It's sandwiched between princess and marathon, right? Or marathon and princess, I guess is the right number. And so, which makes sense for them to do that, but you're right. That's why we keep missing it. Mm -hmm. But this year it runs like, I think until the Friday of princess. So I show up on Thursday, I'm just gonna have to like bust over there and make that priority number one. Um, I know Sarah's watching and she's gonna be there with me. So Sarah, that's where we're going. Um, (laughs) We will report back and let you guys know what we think about this and, and hopefully make better plans to do it next year. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's I'm down there for that. I feel cool. like I feel like 2019. Just this front half is packed, guys. We haven't even gotten to like 
the biggie. That right. <laughs> I agree. Did someone say Galaxy's Edge? Uh, I don't think we had to. I think everybody knows what that means. I mean, it's it's happening, and we still it, don't have a date it. yet. But um, that is just going to. I'm sure we'll be hearing about it soon. I'm sure we'll be hearing yes. about it soon. Well, well, we have Disneyland to sort I, of get a feel say, for how things are going to go down. You do know where it's going first, right, guys? Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And so I, are you going to go? Will you be there on opening day, Patty? <laughs> Look, I'm insane, but I'm not that insane. <laughs> um, actually, yeah. I would love to go. I would absolutely. I I am that person that would go and do that. My family would not. My family would no. tell me that I was on my own, which would be fine. I do. Um, but I don't I don't have plans to go to Disneyland's opening. Um, I do have plans, though, to go to D23 Expo, which Ooh, is right yeah. next door to Disneyland in August. So yes. that's when I hope I'll get into You'll get over there. Uh, me and, you know, 40,000 other Disney fans. Um, so I'm sure it will be no problem whatsoever. To yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> have that like Disney stamina. If anyone can do it, it's Patty. Like, hey. her Disney stamina yeah. is <laughs> I will do my best to get to the West Coast and try these things out for for you, for my people. I work for that, and that's the problem for me. I keep I keep going for you, and I go by myself, and I don't bring my family. So one of these days, I'm gonna have to bring them with me. <laughs> that just means all four of us are gonna have to go to D23. Like one of these years, we're just gonna all have to go. Guys, no. can you ask them to not have it on my anniversary, please? <laughs> So like, for those that don't know what D23 Expo is, D23 Expo is like the Comic-Con of Disney fandom. And it happens every other year in Anaheim. Um, I want to say this is the fifth year, the fifth time they've done it, maybe. I could be wrong on that. I could be totally wrong on that. But it's every other year. Um, Something like that, yeah. And it's really, really cool. <laughs> um, it is where you will find your people, where you can get your Disney door found. We're going to have to do a whole new segment on D23. Oh, yeah. so I don't want to so go, go off on too much of a rant, but just know that it's it's really amazing and awesome. Look it up. <laughs> it's Disney is yes. your <laughs> we'll have a blog post about it. I'll throw it down here in the bottom when we get off. But um, yeah, it's pre it's pretty awesome. All right, well, ladies, I think we have talked about everything that's going on with the hashtag um, yeah. now more than ever, right? Yeah. We covered all four parks. I'm just looking at my notes. Looks like we covered yeah. all four parks and hit some of the highlights. Um, and we left a few surprises so that if you do show up, you know, it's always fun to mm -hmm. find a little surprise. Like. I didn't know about that. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments because we'd love to answer them. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Just absolutely. Time and, um, leave any questions you might have, um, any suggestions for things you want us to talk about in the future. We do have um, a plan for next week. Uh, we're, we're, we, we all kind of went, aww, when, when we discussed um, <laughs> topics. But we're going to talk about romantic places at Disney World. Um, most people probably think of Disney experiences as a family um, situation and it absolutely is but there's a lot of options for adult only circumstances date nights, date nights. um there's babysitter I mean, we're, we're gonna have it all we're gonna run it yes. all down next week just in time for valentine's day and if you have any specific questions about that or you want to ask anything regarding yeah. date nights at disney please let us know in the comments and we will incorporate that into the show and don't forget, it can be at Disneyland, it can be at Disney World, it can be on the cruises. Yes. We're ready and available to talk about any and all of it. So that's that's what we're going to talk about next week. Um, thanks for joining us. This has been fun. Thank you. It's super fun. It went fast. Before, before we, um, oh, we have a special treat for you guys. I forgot. We have a giveaway. So what you need to do is share this video. Comment. And we have this Mickey Steamboat camera strap. I love that. That is so cute. That's a handmade so item and it's adorable. We'll put it in the And it's by Lincoln Co. And she has stuff on Etsy and Facebook. I'll put um, the link in a little bit of her Facebook where you guys can see stuff. But yeah, we would love it for you guys to spread the word. You know, share, comment, 
and just, you know, thank you for your support and thank you for being here with us. We appreciate you guys and we're so happy that you're on this adventure with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then sometime tomorrow we will randomly pick a winner from the comments mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we'll let you know. Yay! Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming out. Thank and you so much. See you real soon. We'll see you real soon. See you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.